Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic and enjoying your Shabbat. Now, if you're new, I'm not religious or churchy or anything, but I do keep the commandments and I do uh, observe the Shabbat. The Shabbat is the Sabbath. It's just a rest day. So um, if you do, great. If you don't, then that's your business. But I do, and this is who I am, and so I just acknowledge it on my uh, channels. Uh, those of you who are returning, welcome back. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, all of that to those of you who are celebrating today. I just tried to do a reading for this channel and it didn't turn out that great. So I got rid of the, the I just uh, didn't want the energy uh, on, on, on what I was seeing. Um, but anyway, there's still some plotting going on, people. Um, what's hidden is some, some type of secret still where travel is concerned. But let me tell you something. You're not going to get away with it, whatever you're doing, especially those of you who are trying to get away with uh, things where fortune is attached to it. It's already known. The law already knows. And you're already being watched, okay? Uh, so you might as well just give it up because you're not going to be able to get away. Okay, even if the, those of you who are connected with law enforcement that's in the negative of that thing, you, you're not going to get away with it, honey. You're just not going to because the upright is the one who wins in the end, not you. I was going to say that. Okay, so anyway, um, <laughs> those of you who are just in your deception, just go ahead and just believe your deception. And um, everybody else is going to really see it blown out the water by you because his word's not going to return void. Okay. Uh, you're going to go to jail, whether you like it or not. You're not going to be able to escape uh, what you've done for a long time in the past and all that. All right? So, anyway, just want to bring it up because that was coming out in the reading. Let's go ahead and get started. I just appreciate you hope for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You are our Yeshua, our salvation, and you know all things. And you laugh at your enemies every day at their stupidness. And uh, I just thank you that you're exposing them. They're afraid. They're, they're turning in fear because, uh, because of them not wanting to face the truth. And uh, so easy, something so easy to get set free. Uh, but pride can just knock them down. And uh, it's a shame. But Jehovah, you see it. You're laughing at them because they don't want none of your ways. And uh, we're going to celebrate when they're out of the earth or when they go set for whatever. They're going to go freaking set for what they've done. I just thank you that you just bind, block, and rebuke all negative, dry, wicked, dark energies and forces and command for the truth to come to the surface, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right, so we have the King of Cups coming up here, and he actually showed himself at the end of that reading. The King of Cups can be a husband, a father, your brother, you, just be at the top of your game in, in like a kingship level uh, type of situation here. This is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured energy, and very emotionally intelligent. It could be the law, FBI. Uh, it, it, it is very intelligent. In the negative of this thing, this thing is so freaking uh, manipulative, people. It, it's, it will hide it deep down in watery stuff and get you all confused, okay? Uh, this states to open your heart and your mind to those around you, and this is trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work is here. So in the upright, that's beautiful energy. We also have the sun that's positive, the most positive card in the deck. It goes in every one of our um, zodiac signs. It is in a water sign right now. This says happy outcome. Yes, because it's a forcible overthrow. We do have government energies here with the sun. We know that that is the letter cough and uh, that's something social with the sun's front stage. It is love and romance. Children with the sun coming out for us. So it states that there's brilliant new ideas that lead to success here and to have confidence uh, we also have the Five of Pentacles that also was in that reading that I just did. And this is, somebody's got some fears around money situations. Uh, and it's no, it's front stage about something here where something financial or physical is attached to it. Now, uh, let me just bring out that um, on my first reading on one of my other channels that I did today, the word that came out in those cards was a loan and a deception. I did a, another card reading on another um channel of mine and we literally had stuff that was coming out about alone there okay and it's caused some type of situation or somebody be thrown out or there was a deception around some type of a money situation or somebody lied about something around it or something like that and so somebody is really having some type of um insecure energies around 
financial and children and love uh, energies, uh, circumstances here. This says it's uh, the wisdom to accept help from others. Okay, well, if you're the king and you are in, you're in the negative of this king and you just got pride and ego here and you won't accept something that's gone on, that you're in a bad place. You're really in a bad place. Uh, otherwise, if you're loving and caring and kind and generous, you turn something just like that and bring something front stage for somebody, then that's positive. Then this is a forgiveness card and uh, you could help this person, whoever this keeps coming out with. But there's uncertain self-employment stuff here for some people. We also have the, the work. Eight of Pentacles is coming out here as well. And uh, this is, you know, somebody's in, in the hole then where work is concerned. Uh, this is skilled, uh, rewarded work, though, with this card. Um, somebody just hanging on to something in their stubbornness within a situation where Pentacles are concerned for the fact that something would be up front because of children or romance that energy is out here um, because there's um, there's 13 pentacles out here thus far and that's four pentacles that's greed and stubbornness energy and it's put somebody in fear surrounding their money they're just trying to secure something uh, because there's some type of children or love and romance situation or governmental thing here with the sun. Um, this says also going back to school energy is here or learning there all there is to know about a certain type of a topic and somebody trying to pinch pennies or something like that. Just the king of pen excuse me, the king of uh, cups also hangs on to stuff as well. Um, in that energy. So ego is here. Well, we got the devil here. That also go back to bank systems and stuff. It's a false sense of entrapment, though, with this card. Uh, you could be done with your exes, holding on to something that your ex did, exes and divorces. Also reaching the top, and it's about truth in the upright and passing the test. And um, it's about temptation and stuff with the devil. Or it's divine grace. Somebody finding divine grace on their job. Uh, and even though there's some type of... Um, financial um, situation around it. Something's going to just forcibly be overthrown within something here. So we've got a lot of earth energy. These three cards go back to earth energy. Uh, there's been a lot of ego here around the situation. Somebody's got had some type of real negative fear-based thoughts or pentacles or love and romance or children are concerned here. The emperor, well, there you go. He is a four. That's organization. I just did, the reading I just did was the Empress there. <laughs> well, and they have a match. They're a match. And uh, could never be denied. Or there's something real big, uh, you know, with the boss, uh, with the home. This is organizational stuff. We're about to be uh, logical. So we have a boss energy here, a boss energy here, a boss energy here, and governmental things here. And there's some type of fear-based situation around pentacles and the work and the structure of a thing and being disciplined and whatever the leadership is. But there's a bright future showing itself here, people. There really is. Oh, my gosh. So this is what you always bring out thus far. It's a lot of energy. For whoever's clicked up on this uh, message. Show me what's going on with the five of pentacles. Show me what's going on with this fear surrounding the money situation here. Let's see. Okay, so we have, I'm just going to take the bottom. What I see. Somebody's plotting. And look, what was in the, in the hidden, uh, in that reading that I just did for y'all. Um, somebody, there's third party stuff going on still. And this is a plotting card, how to escape something, making a decision, what road do I go down, um, premeditative stuff, what's my options, I'm wondering about my plans, here's my ideas, but how do I, I'm divided here, how do I go down, I'm torn, I, I don't know what to, this free will, and oh my gosh, you know, there's choices here, people, there's choices here around this fear, where money is concerned, somebody really tried to hold on to it. There's something transformative here with work, with the pentacle. 
with whatever freaking is being plotted. At the same time, we also have a, a false sense of entrapment here because we got the sun to overturn something, to bring something to the surface. Uh, but somebody, somebody still was trying to plot how to travel because the world card was freaking there, man. Uh, somebody was trying to hold somebody back. They were a patriarch of a family and they were trying to keep somebody in prison. Uh, because of projects, everything else, because the Empress uh, it's just full of projects and stuff, but the law was there. The law was there. The King of Cups go back to the law. That's why somebody's freaking plotting. They think they're going to get away with something that they've done, and you're just not. I don't care if you're a boss. I don't care who you are. You're just not because you're always watching it. The, uh, the sun is is right up in your freaking face. Show me the devil card. Somebody's got a mask on here. Uh, now, not for every, but not everybody's trying to literally try to figure out how to how to go somewhere, or travel somewhere. Some people just try to get out of their mind or trying to figure out how do I do something financially or something physically. Here is showing up where love and romance or work is concerned. Okay, corporate or your 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 dad, your father or uh, something like that, or your children are here. Your siblings show me this ego card of the devil <laughs> well there's a there's a look the mountain is here and that is an enemy we also have the lady but she can't, I don't read those in reversal but there's a lot of money here people there just is a lot of money here um, there's a lot of money either you're in the negative of this thing or you're in the you somebody obviously stole some stuff was what was coming out uh, because this is this is big time money. This is bank systems. Uh, obviously, we have people that are in the hole and they've been put there, and somebody stole some crap, and that's why some people are plotting how to get out of it. Uh, and it's known, and some people have done that on your job, but it's known, and it's a surrounding love and romance crap because uh, th this goes back to a significant person in your life or a female, and we got the emperor here. He has a counterpart. Uh, yes, because there's love energies here. Well, love and romance is here. But there's an enemy showing up here. There's a big obstacle and a barrier and a blockage here. Whatever the challenges are. Show me the challenge. Show me what the challenge is. Okay, let me use another. Well, there's the there's the match. I don't know why that's a freaking challenge unless you're a third outside party to something. And you shouldn't be a third outside party or something. Unless you're dealing with your ex. And your ex is just a big fat idiot. Because there is an enemy here. Showing that the devil is an, in, in, an enemy. Because there is a lot of money attached to some crap now. And it's put other people out that have to hold on. And how am I going to freaking do this? Because somebody else has spread their legs somewhere. For some people. For some people. Or manipulated something here with their freaking emotions and did something stupid. We got children here, okay? We, we really do. It's a bit trying to ex uh, escape. Uh, and how do I, how, which way do I take here? And they're plotting something on both sides. Are you either plotting how to get out of it or how you're going to survive? Show me this mountain. Remember, it's showing up on the devil, and that's for some of you all, this is your ex. Because that's marriages and divorces, okay? It's big time bank systems. It's also the um, uh, industry stuff there. But there's wealth there. So spies, children, checking things out. This mountain is, um, your enemy is being watched. This enemy is being watched for one thing. And there's talk around it around this money, around whatever the devil means for you, the temptation, the... So, society is here. There's marriages here with the Hierophant. There's a revelation here with this uh, enemy. Show me the plotting card. Show me the crossroads, the decision. Somebody is being watched because they know that there's money here. This is a spy. This is a secret investigative energy. This could be your child that's done it to you, to a father. We got father energies that can go back to a father. We got two, three father figures here. 
with children. It could have been your child that's done something with your money. Um, or, or around a family situation. Or uh, like I said, some bosses as well. Or they've done something on the job here. Show me the crossroad card in the Five of Pentacles, please. Jehovah, show me the crossroad card with the Five of Pentacles. I thank you for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah, there, there, there's just something's taking place, and somebody trying to find a way out. Um, and the, this crying over spilt milk, but there is no cups left in this in these cup, or there's no milk left in these cups, people. If somebody's gonna try to escape what they've done, they're already being spied. Your enemy is being spied on. Your enemy, who has the money. And it's full of their freaking ego that's done something on your... This is work or has worked on something with your pentacles. Trying to escape because of their freaking lies and deception or whatever that is. It's right up in their face, okay? Um, the emperor would... The emperor and the upright would know about it. He'd give up, get up and give aid. They're being watched. They're not going to be able to escape. Because there ain't, there's no way out of this five of cups here. There's not. Because there's organization around something here. And it's known about people. It's just known about four pentacles. Go back to uh, organization. We got the emperor here. Organization. And he's very logical. The upright. And don't care. If all the negative emperors in their highfalutin positions with their ego and their manipulation will never be able to win against this emperor in the upright. It represents on this card Archangel Michael. And Michael and his angels fought against the devil and his angels. And who gets to win in the end? Well, Jehovah wins in the end because Michael and his angels are of the truth. There ain't no more cups for the people who are just sitting there crying, 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 crying over something. It's over a childbirth for some of you all. It really is. Show me this King of, of uh, Cups. Show me this King of Cups. Thank you. The high priestess. Well, there is another woman. She came out in that other reading. She just did. And that's also a patriarch of a family. In the upright, this, this person's entitled. Okay? In the upright, this person is entitled to what they are entitled to. The money. Okay? They are. Sorry, I'm trying to get that in, um, in the frame there for y'all. Somebody was trying to keep somebody from um, being where they belonged, okay? And you just cannot stop where a person belongs because Jehovah's going to have his way. Somebody was keep been kept in prison in, in that section of that word that came out. And we know that Jacob, the, the, um, um, the living language states that Jacob would be the one that did sit still in, in their house as, as a prisoner, Okay, and you just cannot sit there and think you're going to get away with doing that to somebody because um, the end of that states within the prophecy that he was going to make the enemy bow down and bring back all the fortune that they took. He's going to force them to bow down. That's a forcible overthrow, people. Okay, and those of y'all are dealing with outside third-party situation where there's been secrets. There's secret love here that hasn't been talked about either. Okay? Um, because it, this, this is a, another person. So if your ex don't like it and it's safe for you to love, but there's another person secretly in love with you. I can read it that way. It is sitting here by the sun and some people have also gotten mixed up with another person as well. And like I said, somebody knows about it. It's known. It's known about the childbirth for some of you all that's gone through that kind of stuff within the home. It really is. Show me the high priestess. Get these. Show me the high priestess. So, the page of cups just jumped out on her. That's a daughter or a child or somebody. In the negative, this is seducing energy. It's a message. It's also unconditional love. It's very creative energy as well, the home. Okay, so we've got celebrations. This was actually at the bottom of the deck when the high priestess came out. So, the home. So, there is a child here as well. Could have been hidden or secret within your situation. Um, but there is, for, for the upright, because I hit it both ways, y'all know, because not everybody's got the same stuff. There is unconditional love. And there's been some unconditional love in, in, in a very secret way uh, within somebody's heart. But there's been insecurity around it because some type of a decision had been made that the 
flipped over some cups here. It's caused somebody in the mix to be bitter within a situation because somebody worked on something in their ego. And uh, they're, they're just, uh, it's caused some type of a enemy to appear within the mix of some crap. My God. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups talks about wishes um, and your concerns fading away. Well, yes, because there's going to be a forcible overthrow of people. There just is. Deal with the narcissist as well with this situation. But there is, there is going to be a celebration here. There is. Let me take a... Um, you know, there, this is a predator here for the mountain to come on the devil. And the devil in the living language represents a predator. We're getting the same word here. Uh, it was actually the 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 shin, which was the uh, teeth or the wisdom. But there's still an S here with the B and the bus and the sub is here. Uh, so it's so, still here. But let me look at this word real quick. Well, the word it's bringing out here, the BS, is uh, corral or trample. And um, a manger is here. A storehouse is here. Well, we got we got financial stuff right here. Um, the the this high priestess being the bet uh, with the Dalit goes to separate, and there's a destruction. The the, the it's the bed. We got the we got somebody did something separated somebody or something got separated because of a bed the other woman energy is here and it brought some type of a destruction here because the word goes back to to alone to being alone being single being alone being separated because of a destruction or something like that um give me just a second yeah, so anyone or anything that is, is a, a part or separated from the whole, and that energy was also coming out in that reading that I just did where the Empress was at the top of the reading. That's interesting. It's still coming out here. This family stuff, because the Emperor would, would go, I mean, obviously we've got work stuff here as well. It's a work family, possibly. I don't know if we're in good person. Um... But the, the Empress, or excuse me, the High Priestess herself, um, the Empress is still found here within this energy. The Empress, a, a lot of times in the cards, will also have the moon under her feet because she's got high volume wisdom in her. This, this She would be found there. And there's love here within something that's taking place. Now, some people are dealing with the outside person. They are. But somebody has done something to put somebody in a solitary place to destroy them. And it's known about, and it's going to be forced, uh, somebody's going to be forced for what they've done. Because Michael and his angels are going to win. Not the devil and his freaking angels. This enemy is, is already being watched. It's already known. There's already gossip going on around the stupid idiot. Um, whatever this is, there's a judgment on this lady that's showing up here in this child or... Uh, this other person or this whatever the spy is where the lady's being found here or this boss or this husband or somebody works for you or uh, whatever this is <laughs> it's crazy because there's other there's a lot of people here showing up in what these cards can represent um, somebody can go to prison whether they like it or not because government's here they really are here Um, I'm not going to look up the word the other direction because I just don't care. I, I want to see the outcome. Or First of all, let me get a word here. Somebody is in love and um, love is going to win in the out outcome. But not, not those who are in love in the negative because that's not love. Some people are in deceptive type of relationships, and that stuff can come to the surface. That ain't love. That's caused war within situations. You don't have no cups. You will not escape because you're being watched, whether you like it or not. 
so there's trains, cars, toys, dolls, trucks. Well, we know there's children involved in some stuff here. We got shake and shaking or trembling out of fear or anger. Well, we already know something's taking place with children. Uh, somebody has trampled on a child um, and done something here out of anger. And some people are just angry because the devil's mad. We got a ruler and a punishment from a ruler or an officer or an overseer or a dominion is here. Yes, it's shown right here. And and they, they better be scared for what they've done because you, you, some people got government involved in some stuff or whatever the crap that has been. Um, Somebody really got used hard. Show me outcome. You'll have to show me some outcome for today. Thank you. So there's some waiting and there's wisdom and then there's the Lord is here. And the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, we are waiting upon him. And that's wisdom for us to do that. So, um, the uh, old woman card goes back to um, experience. The emperor has experience. He's headship. Uh, this wisdom, this old woman goes back to um, like the hermit being able to catch some snakes. Somebody is. And somebody just waiting because they're watching. They're watching the enemy, people. They see it. They're watching this enemy. Okay? This person thinks they're going to get away with uh, smelling some type of a rose. And they think they're trying to escape with all this money. Oh, take the money and run. And you just can't because it's over for you. And it just is. What you did was ridiculous. It was nasty behavior. Trying to segregate somebody. And you just don't get to get away with it. Because you always already brought it up to the surface. It's here. And everybody involved in it, they're under judgment. They are under judgment. Uh, and you're going to come bowing back. Uh, the, I didn't say that. Jehovah's Word says it. You will come bowing back with the fortune. You will be forced to say, here you go. This is yours. Yes, you will. Because Jehovah's Word will not return void to him. It's not yours. And you will give it up and you're going to be forced. The devil's going to be forced. And then we're going to celebrate when you're sitting in the hole and you're out. Because you should never done that. You should never done what you did in the first place. Especially people had over and over and over the hand of the divine said, make it right, make it right. You just wouldn't do it in your pride, your ego. You've really caused yourself and other people around the situation to be really put in a hard place, a rock in a hard place. Uh, but um, those who are going to, who are going to walk in, in uh, freedom, you will come forth. If not, you got, you're going to have hell to pay. You really are. And Jehovah's showing it. There's a punishment here. Even in the rulership. Because the devil energy will go back to a boss energy. Okay? So your ego just literally got you in a place where you're going to be shaken now. And I'm sure you're, you're shaking in your, in your shoes, I'm sure, uh, for what you've done to children and everything else, for those people who did stuff to children. Somebody took a subway or a bus or something like that, did something secret. They did something secret. They seduced somebody within that, and it really put somebody out in a really bad, 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 bad way, and it caused the enemy and a lot of fortune to get in, involved in, in uh, the situation. It's huge. And uh, so, but anyway... For what the devil did for evil, Jehovah's going to turn around for a bright future for those who stand in the truth and fix the thing and will do the right thing. Um, and so that's that's positive for you and I when we're standing in truth. Until next time, Shalom.